Hi guys, see you again in this channel. Here we will make another molding construction. We will use the interlock surface, found in the split tooling command. Well, let's get started. Open a new part. Then insert part. Select file that has been created. Open. Click OK. Select scale. On the scale parameter, select origin. And set the scale factor at 1.02. Click the product then click OK. On the mold tools toolbar, select parting line. Click top plate for direction and pull in the mold parameters. Then click draft analysis. There is a message, select edges that form a closed loop. Then click the edge as a parting line. The next message appears, namely, the parting line is complete but the mold cannot be separated into core and cavity. You may need to create shut off surfaces. These holes are shut off areas. This yellow color is no draft, but it's okay. It doesn't have a big effect during the plastic injection process because it's thin. Okay, so let's shut off on the mold tools toolbar. This is the edges shut off. There is a message, the mold is separable into core and cavity. Okay. Hide solid bodies. Here cavity surface bodies are formed, green color, and core surface bodies, is red. Then select the parting surface on the mold tools toolbar. Click reverse offset direction. Set the distance at 26 millimeters. OK. On the features toolbar, select plane. Click the parting surface for reference. Set the offset distance at 50 millimeters. OK. While plane 1 is selected, select tooling split on the mold tools toolbar. Select circle on the sketch toolbar. Then sketch the circle profile at the origin as the center point of the circle. Set the dimensions at 390 millimeters. Exit sketch. On the block side, set the depth in direction 1 at 170 millimeters. And set the depth in direction 2 at 130 millimeters. Check interlock surface. Then set the draft angle at 15 degrees. OK. This is the draft angle for the interlock surface. surface bodies and hide cavity bodies click the bottom surface of the cavity body then on the sketch toolbar select sketch click the polygon set the number of sides at four then create the sketch with the center point in the origin. Check circumscribed circle and check for construction. OK. Sets dimension of pitch circle diameter to the outer diameter of the body at 25 millimeters. Use add relation to change sketch to fully defined sketch. OK. Then exit sketch. On the features toolbar, select the whole wizard. Then set the hole type in the legacy hole. Choose the counterboard drill. Set counter bore diameter at 26 millimeters. Counter bore depth at 6.2 millimeters. Select through all I am the end condition. Then on the positions tab, select 3D sketch. Then select the four points at the edges of the rectangle. OK. Select fillet on the features toolbar. Then set the radius at 5 millimeters. Click items to fillet. OK. Click the fillet again, then set the radius at 2 millimeters. Click items to fillet. OK. Show cavity bodies and high core bodies. Click the bottom surface of the core. Then on the sketch toolbar, select sketch. Click polygon. Sketch in the origin. Check circumscribed circles. And check for construction in options. Sets the dimension of pitch circle diameter to the outer diameter of the body at 25 millimeters. 
Use add relation to change sketch to fully defined sketch. OK. Then exit sketch. On the features toolbar, select the whole wizard. Then set the whole type on the legacy hole. Choose the counter board drill. Set counter board depth at 8.2 millimeters. Counter board diameter at 36 millimeters. And diameter at 30 millimeters. Then in the positions tab, select 3D sketch. Then select the four points at the edges of the rectangle. OK. Select fillet on the features toolbar. Then set the radius at 2 millimeters. Click items to fillet. OK. Click the fillet again, then set the radius at 5 millimeters. Click items to fillet. OK. Show core bodies and show plant pot bodies. Click the core bodies, then select move bodies. Set delta Y at 400 millimeters. OK. Click the plant pot bodies, then select move bodies. Set delta Y at 200 millimeters. OK. Thank you for watching and subscribing to my video tutorial. See you in the next video.